So one more test with the Luxata tower stove. I'm not sure how this is going to work out. I've had a few comments from viewers to suggest that it may not work. And that is, can I use charcoal in it? If you're interested in seeing we can get water to boil using charcoal in the Luxata tower stove, keep watching. So I'm expecting this to be the last of the tests I'm going to conduct with the Luxata tower stove. And that is whether or not charcoal will work in it and whether or not there'll be enough heat generated from the charcoal to bring water to a boil. I don't expect it to gasify because that's not possible. There are no combustible gases in the charcoal. So it'll just be heat generation that it comes from it. So there should be enough airflow through the bottom of the floor plate of the burn chamber for it, this to work. But one of the things that I'm concerned with, and this was raised by at least one or two of my viewers, is the distance from the top of the burn chamber to the top of the pot stand uh, may be too great and I may lose too much heat out through the feed port. I guess that's what testing is all about. So what I'll do is I'll cut away, I'll load it with charcoal, I'll show you how I'm going to light this, and then we'll wait for the charcoal to engage. We'll put the pot of water on and see if we can't bring water to a boil. All right, to save a little bit of time, I preloaded the burn chamber of the Luxata tower stove with some chunk charcoal, hardwood charcoal, smaller pieces only because, well, that's about well, that I have left in my bag. I don't have any of the larger pieces left. Uh, I filled it right up to the secondary jets. I don't think that's what's important here. It's just a matter of uh, seeing if we can get it lit. So one of the things I've noticed is, and I'm going to let me assemble the stove first. is that, and I guess this is what gave me the idea with, that this might actually work, is that I, I have a video where I have used one of those charcoal chimneys that you might put all your charcoal in, get it lit, and then pour it into your barbecue, I, where I use it as a hobo stove all by itself. Now, I used a very inexpensive one. I didn't buy a Weber or any of the, the better brand names. I just bought one from the dollar store just as a proof of concept, and it worked amazing if you'd like to go back and check that video. But one of the things I noticed is that this does have some similarities. It's tall and a narrow cylinder. Uh, there is a space on the bottom, as we know from looking at this before, that will allow airflow to come up through the charcoal. And there's a lot of ventilation around the bottom of the stove. Well, I guess we'll just see. Now, with a charcoal chimney, the way you would normally light it, and it's so simple, you just crumble up some newspaper or other paper, you put it underneath the chimney, and there's a grate in the chimney where the charcoal is sitting. Light the newspaper, and that'll cause enough flame to light the charcoal from the bottom, and the heat moves up through the rest of the charcoal. Well, I'm not going to use paper, but I'm going to try something a little different. I have no idea if this is actually going to work or work well. This is the small aluminum plate that I carry with me in my kit where this stove is packed inside of the Chemowell pot. And the reason I do that is if I'm working on a surface that I question whether or not it's safe, other than a stone surface like this, that's cut to catch any coals from the wood as it drops through. Well, I'm actually going to use this as the plate to start the charcoal with. I'm going to use some gel fire starter. It's an alcohol gel. Uh, I guess I could have used a number of things. I could have used a wet fire or who knows all the things I could have used. I have no idea if this is the best way to do this. Probably isn't. Should work though. Well, I guess that's what we'll see. So, yeah, okay. It's lit. I can feel the heat, but I can't see the flames. And I'll just set this on top. And we'll give it a few minutes to see if there's enough flame there to to light the charcoal. And I'll, once if I see some glowing taking place in the charcoal, I'll put the water on and see if we can't bring some water to a boil. So to save a little bit of time, I went ahead and put the pot of water on the top of the charcoal. And that was 15, almost 20 minutes ago. Uh, let's just take a look at the water. So you may be able to see there are a few bubbles forming at the bottom. There is steam coming off of it, but uh, 15, 20 minutes, is that a reasonable amount of time to wait for your water to come to a boil? Uh, I wouldn't call that good time, you know, uh, if seven or eight minutes, uh, that would be okay, but 15 to 20 minutes, you know, it's somewhat reminiscent of tests I did with the wood gasification stoves, both the Solo 1800 and the Lixata Scout stove. Neither of them actually brought water to a boil. They got the water hot, but they didn't bring it to a rolling boil. Let's just take a look at what's taking place down inside the stove. 
So I, I do have to tell you, that looks nice. There is a lot of, well, all the charcoal is engaged at this point, and there's a fair amount left to burn. But I don't think I'll get any additional heat from what's coming out of there right now. In fact, if I put my hand down, I'm one inch off of the top, five, six seconds. If I can hold my hand there for five or six seconds uh, off the top of the, the stove, there's heat, but it's just not rising to the top and, and making good contact with the stove. I think what's taking place there is a combination of the height, the distance away from the charcoal to the bottom of the pot, as well as that open hole, the feed hole. I think that's robbing a lot of the heat away. So I don't think I'll let this test go any longer. We'll wrap it up and we'll close up with a few thoughts. Using charcoal in the Lexata tower stove. Successful? No, at least not the way I judged it. Uh, I was able to get it to light and it did glow and it all was consumed in the stove, but it just did not produce enough usable heat to bring my water to a boil. 15, almost 20 minutes later, the water was hot, there were some bubbles forming on the bottom, but it hadn't come to a hard rolling boil. I don't even, I didn't run the test through to see if it would at that point ever come to a boil because it looked like most of my charcoal, well, all of it was engaged, most of it was consumed. I don't think any additional heat would have been generated. And at 15 or 20 minutes, if you haven't brought your water to a boil, you need to use a different stove or a different fuel, which is what I'm going to do with this stove. I think I'm going to use this exclusively with wood. I have tried it with wood pellets, as you've seen in another video. It worked, it was still less than ideal. This is intended for wood. Whether or not it gets to gasify by using an additional plate in the bottom or just use it the way it comes, it's still a good little stove and it works out very well. So that's the way I'm going to use it with wood and the way it was intended. Okay, hopefully that's the last of the tests I'm going to do with this unless you have something else you want me to see me do. But uh, until the next video comes along, get out and explore and take that path less traveled. It will make all the difference. Bye for now.